Hello, book folding friends. Elizabeth here. Welcome in and thank you for joining me. Our pattern of the month for December is an angel. This is the book that I folded from the pattern. Your angel book will add a warm, handcrafted touch to your Christmas decor. And then when the holidays are over, you can continue to display your book. It will be a beautiful reminder of angelic protection. So let's take a look at the pattern. I'll put a link in the description to the website where you can get the angel pattern. It comes as a digital file in PDF format. You download it to your computer, then after you download it, you print it out. So I've got the pattern printed out here. When you order the angel pattern, you'll also receive a free PDF file of my ebook. It's called Traditional Book Folding, a step-by-step -step illustrated guide. If you're a beginner, this how-to guide is perfect for you. It's 68 pages long, and it has lots of clear photos in it that you can follow. You'll learn everything you need to know about traditional book folding from start to finish, like the proper tools, how to select a book, and how to calculate your start page. With my simple method, you'll soon be making beautiful book art, even if you've never before folded a book. The guide also has three bonus patterns in it for you to fold. There's a cute rabbit, a fun ice skate, and a sweet, petite heart. To go straight to the patterns, you'll open the PDF of the guide after you download it, and then you'll scroll down to page 55. That's where the patterns begin. And remember that you get the how-to guide with the three bonus patterns in it completely for free, along with your order of the angel pattern. So let's look back at that. This cover page gives you specific information about the project. If you look right here, you'll see the method we'll be using is the traditional measure, mark, and fold method. There's no cutting required, only folding. Next, you'll see the number of folds is 169, which equals 338 numbered pages. And as a quick refresher, remember that in book folding, a fold with a capital F is a single sheet of paper in a book. It's a single sheet that's numbered on both sides. For example, in our sample book here, we've got page in a book. And this single sheet of paper in book folding is a fold. And of course, it's numbered on both sides. So one fold equals two numbered pages because each fold or sheet of paper is numbered on both sides. So if we look back at our pattern, you can see that's why this is doubled here. 169 folds, sheets of paper, equals 338 numbered pages. So the pattern is telling us we need to use a book that has at least 338 numbered pages in it so that the angel pattern will fit into that book. If we look at the next line, you'll see the height of the book you'll need is at least 22 centimeters. And when I say 22 centimeters, I'm talking about the cover of the book, not the pages inside. A book's pages are always shorter than its covers. And you can use a book that's taller than 22 centimeters. This book that I folded is about 23 and a half centimeters. So if your book is over 22 centimeters tall, that's fine. The angel design will still look good. Let's go to the next page of the pattern. And you can see it's the typical table of measurements that you'll be working through, where each line in the pattern equals one page in your book. If we look at fold number one, you can see it's got a first measurement of 13.5 centimeters and a second measurement of 15.2 centimeters. Then the pattern continues all the way up through fold 169, which has measurements of 13.4 and 15.2 centimeters. Let's go back to the first page. And let's do these first five folds together. We'll measure, mark, and fold them. That will get you off to a good start. And then you'll be able to see how the first wing of the angel begins. I've got my book here ready to go along with the pattern. And I like to wrap a piece of elastic around the pages that I am not folding. It acts as a third hand just to hold them down and keep them out of the way. 
For measuring and marking, I'm going to use my INCRA Precision T-Rule ruler. And I've used this ruler for years for book folding, and I just love it. The best thing about it is this red metal T-bar at the top. And what that does is it keeps the zero at the top of the ruler at the same point on every page that you're marking. So that just keeps your lines straight and makes your folds look nice and professional. And I'll put a link to this ruler down in the description. You can click on that if you're interested in it. For fold number one, we've got a first measurement of 13.5 and a second measurement of 15.2 centimeters. So let's mark those. Now this ruler has slots in it, so my pencil just drops down right into the slot. I can see the paper right through those. So we'll mark 13.5 and 15.2. And I like to check those off as I work. Tuck that under. And for fold number two, measurements of 12.9 and 15.3. Only for fold number three, Measurements of 12.5 and 15.4. Check. Fold number four, 12.2 and 15.5. For fold number five, measurements 11.8 and 15.5 again. And sometimes the measurements in a pattern will repeat. That is not an error. It just helps build up a section of the pattern. So we'll mark 11.8 and 15.5 again. We finished marking folds one through five, so now let's go back and fold those. For folding, I like to use this thin metal ruler made by Westcott. It's got nice cork on the back so it doesn't slip on the paper, and it's nice and thin and flexible. So I put one edge against the spine and then the opposite edge on that first mark of fold number one, which was 13.5. And I also like to use a bone folder to get a nice crisp edge on the fold, like that. And second mark, 15.2. Twelve point five and fifteen point four. Fold number four. Measurements of 12.2 and 15.5. Fold 
And last one, measurements of 11.8 and 15.5 again. We have completed folds one through five, which are the beginning of that left wing right here. One, two, three, four, five. That first little bottom edge on the first wing there, you can see. So you'll just continue working on through the pattern all the way up through that last fold. which was fold 169 with measurements of 13.4 and 15.2. And it's that last little one right here on the other wing, that last small fold right there. And then after you complete that one, you'll have your finished angel design. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll pick up the angel pattern and give this one a try. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and give it a like. And also please share this video with anyone you know who might want to try book folding. I really appreciate that. You'll help me reach many more people that way. If you're brand new to book folding, I've made a video just for you here on my channel. It teaches you all the steps from start to finish. You'll learn about the tools you need, how to pick out a book, how to calculate your start page, everything you need to know. And I'll put a link to that video right here on the screen at the end of this one. You can click on that and watch it next. God bless you, and thanks for watching.